Okay, this question, or this video rather, we are dealing with inequalities. And conceptually, what are they? So let's have a simple inequality here, which is x minus 3 is less than 0. What does this actually mean? Well, first off, we want to solve this. And to solve this, we change this less than sign here to an equal sign. We get x minus 3 equals 0. We solve for x by adding 3 to both sides, and we get x equals 3. And then we place the sign back here, and we say that x is less than 3. Now what this means numerically, it's best understood using a number line. So here's my number line, somewhat of a line. <laughs> Made it a little bit askew. But let's say this is 4, 3, 2. One. What does it mean to say x is less than 3? Well, x cannot equal 3, meaning if we plug 3 in here, we'd have 3 minus 3, which is 0. 0 is not less than 0. So to depict this on a number line, we want to have an open circle, meaning x cannot equal 3. However, any number less than 3 describes the equation above. So we could even put 2.8 in there. It's on the number line, and so if we put 2.8 minus 3, we end up getting point or negative. 0.2, which of course is less than zero. So any number to the left, and notice this arrow just means on and on and on, any number to the left of three is less than three and satisfies this above equation. Now let's have another little trick here. And this is gonna be a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna have negative five X plus 10 is less than or equal to zero. How do we solve this? What do we do? Well, notice that less than or equal is written a little bit differently. And again, we're going to simply assume to solve it that it's x negative 5x plus 10 equals zero. We solve. But here's the twist, and this is what freaks out a lot of people. Whenever you divide by a negative, and that number is multiplied by the x. So we're going to divide by negative 5, negative number. This sign over here switches directions. So no longer is it going to be less than or equal, but it's going to flip and become greater than or equal. So we get rid of negative 5, and we end up with x is equal to 2. And now, instead of bringing this sign back in here, we want to flip the sign as we've done here and put that sign right here. So we end up getting x is greater than or equal to the number 2. And to write that on a number line, zero, one, two, and three, and so on. Instead of having a open circle, we dot that circle in and we draw our arrow this way. Now this is something, this number line is something you will not have to do on the GRE. This is conceptual to help you understand what the inequality sign means. The major takeaway from this is to, of course, make sure you understand the number line, make sure you understand how to solve these by simply replacing the sign with an equal sign, and if you ever divide by negative, to make sure you flip the direction of the sign when you place the sign back in at the very last step, as we did here with x is greater than or equal to 2.